I just want to let you know that while those high-end products can be amazing to our hair, cheap and affordable products are a great alternative, especially when you're not buoyant enough to buy those high-end products. Trust me, it is better to use the cheap and affordable products than not using anything at all on your natural hair. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about a topic that has been on my mind for a long time now. Why using cheap and affordable products on our natural hair is better than not using anything at all. I'll also be giving out a list of natural hair products that are safe for natural hair, which I myself have used. It helped me to grow a healthy and beautiful hair. I know a lot of us wants to use those luxurious, those high-end products, but sometimes our budget does not agree. But does this mean that we should leave our natural hair like that? Just because we cannot afford those high-end products? I don't think so. We should remember that our fussy natural hair needs care and moisture to thrive. If you're using no products on your hair, you're risking dryness, breakage, shedding, and all those negative things that you do not want to happen to your hair. But when you use affordable products, you are still giving your hair the needed moisture and nourishment which the hair needs to grow. Affordable products can keep your hair healthy while you save up or upgrade later to the high-end products. And some affordable options can work as well as these high-end products. So it's not about the product or how expensive a product is. It's about what the product is made up of. I'm going to be listing a few affordable products that I used on my hair when I started my natural hair journey and it worked perfectly for my hair. I'll be listing three shampoos. I remember that when choosing a shampoo, you have to go for the sulfate-free shampoos because you don't want a shampoo that is going to strip your hair of all the oils and before you know it, your hair will be breaking and you hurt your hair for it. So if you're shopping for a shampoo, whether it is a high-end product or a cheap and affordable option, make sure that the shampoo is a sulfate-free shampoo. Number one on my list is the Nature's Gentle Touch Mono Oil Shampoo. This shampoo is sulfate-free. It is specifically formulated for African women with their natural virgin hair. The second shampoo on my list is the Miracle Natural Hair Shampoo. This is another shampoo that was made for African women with the 5-4 natural hair. It is anti-dandruff and anti-itch. That means it prevents dandruff and itching. So that is another very good, affordable shampoo. Number three is the El Glitters Hair Wonder Natural Shampoo. This shampoo was made for African women. But the problem I have with this shampoo is that they did not state whether it is sulfate-free or not. But the shampoo was made with the African hair in mind. Those are the three shampoos for that four natural hair. For conditioners, I use the VO5 conditioner. They are, it has a variety. You can use any one and it works. It detangles the hair, it softens the hair. It works very well for the hair. Then another one is the Keratin Queen. Keratin Queen conditioner. If your hair is a stubborn type, the, you say my hair is very difficult to comb, my hair is very stressful. Believe me, this keratin queen is going to soften your hair like this. It's going to make it very easy for you to detangle your hair or comb your hair. So that is another very good product, affordable product for type 4 natural hair. Now we go over to leave-in conditioners. The first on my list is Mega Growth Leave-In Conditioner. This is another affordable but very good leave-in conditioner. The second on my list is Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. This works perfectly. This is what I used when my hair was about like six months and God, my hair was so soft. Sometimes, due to some reasons, I did not put my hair in braids or twists and I slept with it like that. In the morning, I try combing the hair, it's very difficult. But when once I apply this Miracle Leave-In on my hair, it will be very easy for me to comb it through. The third on my list is the Nature's Gentle Touch Mono Oil Leave-In Conditioner. That is another good conditioner. It works. Now we are going over to Deep 
conditioners. Number one is the olive oil hair mayonnaise. This is very good. It strengthens the hair, it repairs the hair. Very good products. Then another deep conditioner is the Mega Growth. It works. It's okay. And the last on my list are the oils. So, olive oil or coconut oil. Any one of the two that works for you, you can even use the two. We've talked about the shampoos, we've talked about the conditioners, rinse out conditioners, the leave in conditioners, the deep conditioners, and the oils. So remember that I'm listing the product that I use on my hair, product that I can recommend to somebody. These are the ones that I used on my hair when I was starting this journey, my natural hair journey afresh. These are affordable options. You don't have to say, oh, I don't have money, so I cannot buy sheer moisture. I cannot buy meal. I cannot buy TGIN. No, you start from somewhere. It is better you grow a healthy hair on a low budget. And when you're able to afford those high end, you now switch over to the high end products. And that is exactly what I did and it worked for me. So ladies, I hope you're encouraged to take care of your natural hair, irrespective of your budget or your income. You can do it. Do not leave your hair like that. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give me a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel if you're here to do so. I really hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye!